there! I am Janelle Persaud, Public and Government Affairs Advisor with ExxonMobil Guyana. As many of you might have heard or read, ExxonMobil announced an increase in its discovered recoverable resource estimate for the Stavrov block to approximately 10 billion oil equivalent barrels. This is essentially the amount of oil and gas it believes can be produced or recovered from the discoveries that were made in the block to date, including a new discovery at the Katavak 1 well. But what does this mean for you? I sat down with President of ExxonMobil Guyana, Alistair Routledge, to understand the significance of another discovery in the context of Guyana's exploration history, but also how do we move from a discovery to bringing value to the people of Guyana. Well, what everyone tends to forget is that this is still truly frontier exploration in the deep water. I mean, for decades, Guyana had been searching for oil and gas uh, in its territory with no success. And then, fortunately, in 2015, we made the first discovery with the Lisa well. Uh, the very second well we drilled on the Starbrook block was unsuccessful. So, you know, we, we forget that, that this is still frontier exploration, uh, very challenging. And yes, we've had a lot of success, but that comes from the application of a lot of technology and experience from other similar basins around the world. We often forget just the scale of what we're dealing with. I mean, we're, we're operating in extremely deep water, somewhere around a mile deep or more. Um, huge investments, multi-billion US dollar investments, um, many, many thousands of people involved around the world, huge supply chains to make projects a reality. Um, but before we even get there, we have to understand the resource. We have to have done, drilled enough wells, done enough testing, gathered the data to put together the resource, put in place a development plan, go through the environmental impact assessment process, make sure that we've made all the right plans, involved the right people, the right agencies from the government before we actually say we're ready to go. And then you typically have somewhere around a three-year execution timeline uh, just from that, that full funding point in time. So yes, uh, everyone's eager to see these 20 plus discoveries developed, but a number of them need to be grouped together in order to make an economic development. We need to be thoughtful how we do this, make sure we're bringing the best technology, doing it with the absolute best environmental management that we can, and, and then, of course, at the end of the day, making it economic for the country, the maximum return and revenue for the country. You talked about the development process, but how does this discovery help to determine the right sequence of projects moving forward? So the Catabank discovery is located close to the turbot and triple tail discoveries. And so as we gather uh, the resource in that area, it gives us the critical mass, it gives us the uh, significance of volume in that area that we get the higher certainty that we can make an economic development. Uh, we still have some more work to do to understand uh, the fluids and to make sure that we have a development plan that will, will work, uh, will be the most economic. Uh, but that, that is what we're, the work that will go forward now. What is being done to ensure that our operations and our presence in Guyana is really making an impact on the lives of Guyanese? Now, for us, it's very important that the people of Guyana feel the benefit of not just the revenues that are generated from the natural resource, but also from the investment activities, the development activities, the work that's needed to, to produce the oil and gas. And, and so, again, I, you look back and you say, We've made remarkable progress since 2015, since that first discovery. Uh, more than $500 million, US dollars, have been spent with local companies, local businesses. Uh, more than 800 local businessmen, companies, are involved in the supply chain for our business. These are significant progress milestones in a very short space of time when you think of the scale of the industry and what it takes to move forward. And remember, we only have one project so far started up, albeit we're looking forward to welcoming the Unity FPSO and getting to the point where we can start up LISA Phase 2 in the first half of 2022. 
With the arrival of Unity FPSO later this year and its uh, startup in the first half of 2022, we'll almost treble the capacity of production uh, in Guyana. Uh, what that means, of course, is that we will be almost trebling the revenue stream to the government. And uh, that's great news for the government. We'll have more funds to invest, whether it be in education, infrastructure and other projects uh, for the benefit of all the people in Guyana. And there's increasing benefit to local content by employing a steady phased approach to developing these projects. The fact that we can have a line of sight to a number of projects that are sequential enables not just ourselves to build up a, a, a very successful execution model that, that builds one project after, the pro, after project. Uh, we're able to roll people over from one project to the next. Uh, but we can also build more and more of a local supply chain and that's really the benefit to the country, to the people, is that us as a company, our primary suppliers, but also local businessmen can see that there are more projects coming, it's worthwhile to make the investments to prepare for those and therefore be able to gain more and more from, from the opportunity. So yes, I think it really is important that as we continue to make those discoveries, we're able to put together the projects uh, plan for those, coordinate with the government, make sure that the approval process is smooth, um, that it's correct, that we follow all the right review steps, but that then there is that line of sight to work in the future. The gas to energy project is widely discussed today. What is being done to ensure that there are also tangible benefits to the people of Guyana from this project as well? Yeah, so as everyone's aware, we are working with the government closely on the development of gas resource, bringing a pipeline onshore uh, and landing that in the Wales uh, estate. Now, um, we anticipate that we'll get to the point of, uh, of full funding of that project next year in 2022. Um, at that point, then we would, we would expect that there will be the beginning of some of the early works uh, in Region 3 from the point of the, the, landing, the landing location of the pipeline, uh, making sure that the, uh, the route for the pipeline is prepared, civil works in the area of the Wales estate, preparing for the plant, uh, for the power plant as well, which, uh, which is another part of the scope. Um, so yes, I would expect the gas to energy project, which has been very much uh, uh, given a lot of attention, but will be more visible to people, particularly in region three, where there will be uh, hundreds of jobs during the construction phase of the project starting next year. ExxonMobil Guyana focuses heavily on strategic community investments and the Greater Guyana Initiative is one of those. How does the GGI fit into the company's overall vision of supporting Guyana's social and economic development? So first of all, we have the benefit of direct investment through our activities. A number of suppliers, I mentioned, uh, over 800 companies and businesses that support our activities. Uh, then there is, if you like, the ripple effect. Many of you will have seen some of the videos. The uh, ripple effect of, of, of other smaller companies often, uh, people that have their own businesses, that are seeing that, that cascading effect of investment and activity in our sector that's creating more demand in their sector. That's uh, often in the retail or um, the entertainment sector. Beyond that, uh, as a company and also the co-venturers in the Starbrook block, very committed to ensuring that the, uh, the impact has a long and sustainable benefit to the country. And we've made a major commitment, the Guyana, Greater Guyana Initiative, 100 million US dollars over 10 years. We've begun to put in place some programs uh, this is very much targeted at building capacity in the country, especially through education. And we'll be, you'll be seeing those programs rolled out across the country, all 10 regions. ExxonMobil envisions six projects online by 2027 and sees the potential for seven to 10 projects to develop the current recoverable resource estimate, which as I shared earlier, is about 10 billion oil equivalent barrels. But this takes time to develop and monetize we are already seeing significant benefits and as ExxonMobil Guyana continues to responsibly develop Guyana's oil and gas resources, we expect an even greater impact. I am Janelle Persaud. Thank you for watching.